Today, uh, Lewis and I wanted to talk to you about writing a big band chart, since it's something we uh, kind of enjoy and have made a habit of. We're here to break it down for you in five easy steps. So step one to any project is getting started. Now since it's 2017 and paper and pencil are obsolete, uh, what you're going to want is a good old music software to write everything down in. I personally like to use Ableton Live 9. The saxophones are only good for playing fast. The trumpet section is probably the easiest section in Big Man to write for because trumpets follow one rule, um, and that is they have to play high. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Trombone section. Trombone, optional. The rhythm section is the backbone to any big band. The piano and the bass are used to playing until they bleed. So if they're not bleeding on the gig, you wrote way too many rests, my friend. And the guitar, you need to write in a very particular way for a big band. Step three, the voicings. Now there are a lot of different options for voicings and um, books have been written about them. We personally don't feel like those are of any use. I'm gonna be honest, none of us actually know how to write for drums in a big band. Usually we just do something like this. I would like to personally apologize to our wonderful guitar player, Joe Bell, who... So with these tips, you should be well on your way to writing your first full big band chart. Start over, I was yawning. So with these tips, uh, you should be well on your way to finishing your first full Big Band chart in a timely manner. We're going to pull up a little something that we've been working on in the studio just to show you what it's like. Woo! 